So today I want to look at this um, add-on that I created for Blender. It's called Edge Groups, and as the name implies, uh, it allows us to use workflows very similar to uh, vertex groups, which are which are built into Blender. So let's say I have this uh, object that I'm working with here, and I might want to do some bevels. Uh, I might want to do a subdivision workflow. And to do that in Blender, of course, you need to mark edges. You need to do bevel weights, crease weights, all these various things. So to get started here, I'll press the N key, um, which opens up this item menu. And then you can go to edge groups. So edge groups, you can see this menu. It'll be visible in either object or edit mode. And I will walk through what all of these settings and buttons do um, by example here. So let's say I want to bevel uh, these three edges here using this bevel modifier that I have in my stack. The, the method is set to weight. So I know that using plain old Blender, I can set the bevel weight here. But let's go ahead and create an edge group here. And let's call this um, bevel group. So this is going to be our first group. And what I want to do is basically I want to apply uh, weight to this edge group. So if I turn my edge weight here to one and hit apply weight, we'll see that nothing happens, but it's because in the background that weight has been applied to this group. And I can select that edge group. So this is, this is what appears here when I select. In order to get this to uh, affect the bevel weights, we can check the bevel weights option here and then press set edge values. So you'll notice that um, we can change this as well in object mode, which is kind of nice. Um, if I press, let's make sure this is shaded flat. There we go. So we see all the edges here on our bevel. If I want to change this again, I can change this to 0.5. I can apply my edge weight and then press set edges value. So you can see my bevel is kind of reduced here. If I want to change this without having to apply the weight in between, let's set this back to one. I can check this apply edge weight first option, which basically forces the edge weight to update for that group when you go to push the values to the uh, bevel weights or the crease values. So that's fine. Um, but let's see if we want to do some subdivision modeling. I have a modifier on my stack. Let's make that visible. And this subdivision is going to use creases. So we can, we can kind of use creases to manipulate the, the geometry. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is shade auto smooth here and let's go back into edit mode. I want to add another group. So if I select, uh, let's say some of these edges here, and this group is going to be for, I'm going to make some creases. So I can add an edge group. We'll call this uh, crease group. And we will do the same kind of workflow. Um, this time it automatically will have that weight of one because it takes whatever the, the weight value here is in the menu. We're going to switch this to crease value and then we're going to set edge values. So we can see that crease has been applied and it's quite nice because you can we can change this in object mode, right? So once again, if I want to change that weight value, I can change it here. Now, this is kind of ugly, but proving the point that we can manipulate these, uh, these, these edge groups. And if I want to apply this to my bevel group as well, you can see all we have to do is switch the selection here. Uh, let's change this to one maybe and then apply. And you see now I have a crease on my bevel as well. So I've creased the bevel. I didn't really want to, but I can show that I can do that. Um, let's restore that to the way it was. So pretty simple so far. I've got a bevel running down the side and then a couple of uh, creases here. Let's select that crease, uh, the crease group again. And let's make sure that weight is at 100. There we go. So that's 100 crease weight. But let's say I also want to mark some sharps to uh, kind of influence how that um, that bevel is is functioning. We can do I don't know. Let's say another group. I'm gonna mark these edges here. We'll add edge group and we'll do call this sharps group. And an easy way to do that is if you check mark sharp down here, you can toggle it, um, and we see that that bevel is is um, adhering to those those uh, marks there. Um, of course, we can do the same thing with seams, but seams are typically just used for UV unwrapping. But let's go ahead and make another group. So maybe some of these, if I mark these edges, add a group, call this seam group. 
and then I can mark my themes and then toggle them on. Um, one thing that we can do is we can set our sharps on any of these objects, right? So we can toggle them on, toggle them off. Um, there's going to be some kind of overlapping areas which can make that somewhat confusing. So another thing you can do is create uh, an edge group for the whole object. So let's just leave that as cube edge group. And what I can do is I can clear every all the marks. So if I come in here, um, I can clear my sharps, I can clear my seams. Let's go into the model. We see those are gone. I can very easily change my weights and creases all in one shot. And then we're back to um, the original geometry that we started with. So that's um, pretty much how the add-on works. The only other feature that I wanted to discuss here is this clear selection first. So just like vertex group, when you select a edge group here, um, the, the selection's compound. So if I select a crease group afterwards, uh, it's going to add to that selection. If you don't want that behavior, or if it starts to make some of these mark kind of you know uh, confusing, you can clear selection first. So this works nicely because if I want to look at something, I can clear selection first, bevel group, select, and then I can see exactly these are the edges in this group. So we can restore our workflow pretty quickly here. If I change bevel weights, we're going to apply that. So that's a bevel that we've got there. We're going to look at our crease group. Um, we can apply the crease, right? So that got us back to this point. We had a group for sharps. So we can go ahead and mark sharp, toggle there. And then we had some seams, which are kind of irrelevant here, but show us that we can get back to this very, very easily. Um, so the workflow is nice because it's it's kind of non-destructive in a way. All that information is stored here in your groups, um, and you can basically um, work with your um, within these groups to work with your bevels and your subdivisions and so on. Okay, so that's all I wanted to show. Thanks for watching.